Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. <clears throat> we talk today about that phrase in the Lord's Prayer that says, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And you know there are different versions. There's the trespass version and the sin version, but they all say the same thing. We, we ask God to forgive us, forgive us our debts or forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. So the question is, do we really want God holding us to the same standard we use for other people? That seems to be what Jesus teaches here and there, that, that uh, you receive mercy to the extent that you are merciful, that you... Um, you're forgiven to the extent that you can be forgiving. If we can't do that, I think we're in big trouble, you know, because we don't want God to forgive us only the way that we forgive other people. That's not who God is, and that's not how we want God to act. So I hope he doesn't act that way, you know. That would be frightening and terrible, and God would be petty and unpredictable and jealous and, you know, all the things that God is not. So, I think what we need to do is understand that forgive us our sins, Lord, and I need to forgive other people who sin against me. You don't have to hold everything against anybody. People do things. Sometimes they're not thinking about what they're doing. Sometimes they're thinking about it and they're deliberately being mean. Sometimes it just happens. We don't have to hold everything against everybody all the time and, you know, walk around keeping track of people and, and, and being that way. So many people are that way. If we cannot be that way, it frees us from all that, all those chains that hold us down, and it also gives us peace. We don't have to act like that, so we're free. Those are good things. There is some question about the debts and the trespasses, and I looked it up, and it's all over the place. It's, you know, it goes back to the 1500s, and um, the translation is trespasses. Um, but in Matthew, it's debts and debtors, and in Luke, it's trespasses and those who sin against us. So just different words are used in the original. And um, and so translators are trying to to preserve uh, those, those words. And I think um, there may be a little bit of Scottish versus English stuff going on too. You know, the, the English, the, the Church of England uses trespasses and so the Methodist Church which grew out of the Church of England uses trespasses but up in Scotland the Presbyterians said debts because why not and so there may be a little bit of rivalry going on there too I don't know you can't prove those things you just have to wonder for us let's be forgiving and God certainly forgives us, loves us, and draws us to himself. See you tomorrow.